Hello, and welcome everybody to The Proof Podcast. Here at The Proof, our experts pull a bottle off the shelf and discuss with their peers and brand influencers on why they made their choice. Together, they'll rate each bottle based on the proprietary scoring system of the acclaimed Proof Awards for Spirits. With us today in our libation station is Vito Penyakovic of Original Brand, Tony of Campari America, and Danka, bartender at Honey Salt. Hello guys, my name is uh, Vito Pinyakovich and I am here with uh, Original Brand and today I have two very special guests, uh, one of my good friends, uh, Tony, and another good friend, Donka. Tony, uh, what do you do? Well, first of all, thank you for uh, for the nice intro. I, I just got wispy-eyed. Uh, so my name is Tony DeMaria. I work for Campari America. Uh, my sort of head sales here on the on-premise in uh, Las Vegas, starting to cover more territory in Nevada. So uh, you'll be seeing me more in Reno and uh, Tahoe this year, that little tiny piece of Tahoe that has all the casinos on it, makes all the money. Um, but mostly here, centrally located in Las Vegas. Nice. And Donko, uh, what do you do? Um, I bartend at Honey Salt. Um, I also wanted to say thank you for having us. I'm super excited to taste all these amazing products me too actually don't mind me stepping in there but yes all right so let's talk about uh one rock vodka so uh one rock uh, is a very unique concept i know for a fact that uh they were uh the ones that released a invest into the company be a potential owner investor uh shareholder into the vodka it is a hundred percent corn um so let's just dive right in and uh let's give it a shot so um as far as uh on the eyes what do we see as far as uh color hue appeal i mean it's looking pretty crystal clear here you can see a little like uh almost like a viscosity uh like a uh not syrupiness but a very clean um, thickness to it, honestly. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, what do we think about the nose? Um, I sense a little bit of almost like green grapes. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> yeah. A, li a little bit, yeah. Uh, you said it was corn. To get that right off of the nose, you get a little bit of that natural like sweetness um, directly off the nose instantly. And um, sort of that green grape skin almost as if you were washing it in the sink, super fresh, coming like beating off of the uh, the skin and the side of the fruit. Yeah, no, absolutely. Now, uh, what about as far as the presence of alcohol? You guys think it uh, has a little bit of a heat or? It really, it doesn't. Like I usually typically don't like drinking vodka, especially straight, but this is so easy to drink. It's very soft. It. It doesn't have that like burn that makes you go like oh straight vodka you know it's really easy to drink yeah no definitely i agree with you on that 100 percent. and i think that it's got a phenomenal balance between a lot of the uh fragrances uh, besides the green uh grapes i'm i'm also picking up a little bit of kiwi personally you know uh yeah, directly off the palate, it instantly coats the mouth a little bit, the, the tongue, all sides of the tongue. It coats the front, the back, and the sides. And after you said the grape thing, it is it is a combination of that green grape and almost uh, like a high acid from maybe like a kiwi fruit or like jackfruit possibly. It's, it's very interesting, honestly. Like there's a floralness to it on the mouth that I don't get off of the nose instantly. I think it's very nice and mild. Yeah, absolutely. It's I mean, very, very palatable. And you're 100 percent right with that acidity. I'm picking it up uh, as well. That's where I came in with that uh, kiwi. Now, uh, Danka, what do you think about the palate texture and just like the first feel? Um. I mean, like I said, it's really soft. It's easy to drink. Um, it's velvety. It's, yeah, velvety. Silky smooth. Um, fruity for sure. It's like white gold. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, we'll, we'll be sure to let uh, Garrett know. Uh, Garrett is uh, one of the partners and owners, a phenomenal guy. And obviously, from my perspective anyway, so far, uh, phenomenal product. So uh, we've already touched up on uh, the complexity of uh, flavors, distinctiveness, balance, uh, presence of alcohol. Um, how would you guys uh, score this? Just overall nose, mouthfeel, uh, taste, finish. Oh, so we're going off of a one to five scale here. Yep. Uh, let's see. So on the eyes, it's very easy on the eyes. Well, just like you. I would give it a, <laughs> probably give it a five on Yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate it. What, what are you trying to do to me, man? You trying to, I'm, trying to I'm, turn me red in this thing? Yeah. <laughs> um, on the nose for me, um, I'm going to give it a four. I think that, uh, like, after tasting it, I want to smell a little bit more of those things that I'm getting on the palate, but it's still straight to the point, and it's it's beautiful on the nose. Um, mouthfeel is amazing. Um, I'm definitely going high on the mouthfeel. I love the velvetiness that, uh, that coats that palate uh, and just sort of, like, cleans everything out and gets it ready for that next sip. And on that next sip, it just makes it even better. Everything's like already prepped and ready to go. The taste is awesome. Again, with those nice fruit uh, forward, like slight acid notes in there, gives it nice uh, uh, mid palate also. Uh, that acid really helps to like break everything apart. Um, with the initialness being that coating of the palate, it's nice to get a little bit of that extra balance and dry on the on the back. Um, and so that ties into the finish there, I guess, for me. So I'm I'm gonna be going pretty high on on that one too, uh, right in that four and five range. Yeah, I'd have to agree. This is uh, like one of the first vodkas that I can drink straight. Like I said, I'm not a vodka lover, but I actually really love this product. Um, I also love that you get that sense of like floral. Um, yeah, it's very easy to drink and the bottle looks great too. Like I could definitely see it. Um, it is a pretty a sexy bottle at like a club or a lounge or something, you know, for sure. As long as you guys don't put those little lights on the bottom and light the thing up behind <laughs> the back bar, I'd say you got something going there. Yeah. No lights. <laughs> <laughs> see, I like lights, you know? So guys, how would you, uh, how how would you uh, just do the overall total score? Uh, okay, so let's see. Mm -hmm. Slowly do the math in my head here. You need a calculator? I think I got it. <laughs> I'd say about a 32 Carry the on the scale as is, right? Does that make sense? No, because... Am I doing my math right? It's based off of uh, 100, so... 100? Well, you've got one, two, three, four. Oh, you know what I'm... Okay, forgot to carry the one. I forgot <laughs> to carry the uh, 15, I think, on this one. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, so out of 100, that's what we're looking at. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with a 91. Trying to keep this thing, you know, fair and balanced. Um, it's definitely up there. I like that, though. I, I definitely uh, very much enjoy this. Danka, what do you think? I'll give it like a 95. Okay, so we're all kind of like in the same range. Um, I'm going to go 62, right in between. really, man? Come on. <laughs> I'm going to go right in between. I'm going to say about 92, 93. Uh, just total. Um, yeah. Well, guys, thank you so much for uh, listening to our... <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, listening to our uh, podcast and uh, thank you for uh, the Great American Pub for hosting us and having us uh, do this today. And uh, yeah, we'll chat with you guys later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening to the Proof Podcast. For more information on the Proof Podcast or the Proof Awards, go to www.proofawards.com. We're also on Twitter and IG at Proof Awards. We look forward to hearing from you. We'll see you next time.